What's up? It's fucking Chanel, and welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. It fucking snowed last night. And I'm pretty sure it was because I was listening to Immortal. But, anyways, today we will be listening to fucking Cannibal Corpse, Tomb of the Mutilated, the uh, Metal Blade reissue. So fucking good. Obviously, I mean, it's fucking Cannibal Corpse, Tomb of the Mutilated with Chris Barnes on vocals. How could you not like this? Like, it's so fucking good. If you're a fan of death metal, you need this in your fucking collection. It's just a must. But today, I'm gonna be going over fucking Pig Destroyer, Painter of Dead Girls, which is a really hard to find compilation now, I'm guessing. This is from uh, 2004. Uh, it was released on CD through Robotic Empire, but um, this A Date with Elvis record label put out the vinyl. And uh, yeah, I was um, doing a little bit of research and uh, like, it's pretty much, uh, you know, a bunch of stuff you're really not gonna like be able to find from Pig Destroyer, just all in one compilation, just like uh, 38 Counts of Battery, which uh, was like demo stuff, uh, and it came out first, so like, you have fucking Chris Taylor from uh, Page 99 doing the artwork, says tame up there. I love Pig Destroyers, just little, you know, their art, their artwork is always on point. It's always phenomenal. Very creepy. It's, it's great. Pig Destroyer is just one of my favorite fucking grind bands. Always has been. And it's, fu it rules. Like, it's seriously, it's such a fucking good compilation. Like, don't get me wrong. Excuse me. Prowler in the Yard is just one of the best fucking records ever. Along with Terrifier, Phantom Limb, Book Burner, like, everything's good Pig Destroyer has ever put out. Like, I've never heard a Pig Destroyer record and been like, I'll pass. Like, even their Doom uh, Natasha EP was amazing. It was so good. And the lyrics. JR is just crazy, and speaking of lyrics, he didn't even remember the first, the lyrics to the first seven tracks, and uh, I guess people, you know, <laughs> did the job for him because they ended up getting the lyrics, and, uh, like, there's like a helmet cover on here, there's a, a, you know, fuck you up and get high cover by the dwarfs, um, but it's mostly just uh, songs on their splits with uh, Benum and uh, fucking Knob. Uh, I, I always uh, forget about those two bands, like seriously. I remember like, uh, I, I used to have a Benum uh, CD and I know I'm saying the name wrong, I, I forget like how to really say it because it's got the two dots over the U. I think it has the two dots over the N actually, not the, I don't know, I, I, I fucking forget. Who cares, but all you need to know is that this is a really, really, really good compilation. It's not as good as 38 Counts of Battery, and that's just because 38 Counts of Battery fucking rolls just a little bit more than Painter of Dead Girls. And I'm sure Relapse might reissue Painter, I mean, uh, Relapse might reissue 38 Counts, where I'm not sure if Painter of Dead Girls is ever going to get a reissue or anything like that. But a friend of mine gave me this album a long, long time ago. Like, seriously, like, a decade ago, like, but... Robotic Empire used to be, seriously, and still might be, like, one of the, the better underground labels, like, 
Because I know back in like the early 2000s, like a lot of um, just grindy material seemed to have just robotic empire would put it out and it would be good. Like they had a really good track record of just putting out killer shit. Like if you knew you were, it was one of those things like with Dark Descent Records, you know you're getting quality, awesome product. And it was like that with Robotic Empire. They put out the um, A Life Once Lost EP, Fourth Play Flies, which is, in my opinion, and most people's opinion, the best A Life Once Lost material because, dude, it's super fucking grindy, technical, like, it's barely hardcore. I mean, it has breakdowns, but it sounds more like Metallica, Ride the Lightning. Then, like, they're later a great artist, Mashuga error, and, uh, like, their Lamb of God shit. Well, it just sounds like Lamb of God, and it wasn't shit. Hunter was a good album, so was Iron Gag, and, uh, that's when I just kind of. Not because I didn't like A Life Once Lost anymore, it just. I don't know. I, I did not like the production, and then uh, A Static Vision, which was the name of, uh, I think, the last Life Once Lost record, became Doug, aka Snake Sustain's new project, who I saw open up for Yob and Enslaved, one of the coolest bands I saw in 2015. It was awesome, like, I was blown the fuck away, like... They had trumpets, but like not in like a ska way. It was super experimental, like Frank Zappa, but like super fucking heavy and just awesome. Cause like I know that's what Doug's always. Doug was always about like you know riff out, smoke out, like. So I understand why that's the direction he wants to go. Where Bob Meadows is now currently working on a new grindcore project which is awesome because I always loved Bob's vocals from uh, Open Your Mouth for the Speechless to Fourth Plague Flies all the way up until Iron Gag. Like I said I really did not listen to the last maybe even two A Life, I think there might have been two A Life Once Lost records. One was self-released but I don't know, I watched footage of them touring with with just Doug playing guitar and I was just like, what the hell, this sounds terrible. I didn't, I don't want to say that because like, I, I really, like, when I was growing up, I really liked The Life Once Lost. So like, I first saw them, I think it might have been 2000 at the Collinbrook Church in Drexel Hill and they kept unplugging, uh their amps because people were going nuts moshing like and uh they just kept plugging their amps back in and it was a good time colin brook used to have good hardcore shows but and metal shows like i remember when i was in a band like we got to play there so that was fun we sold it out but anyways i can't wait to see pig destroyer again in april at a Decibel Metal and Beer Fest. If you do not have tickets, I really, really, really highly suggest getting them ASAP. Now, if you're a drinker, they have an insane, insane amount of beer distributors sponsoring the event, and I'm sure with your beer ticket, then you get free beer, is what I'm assuming. But it's not free because your ticket's like an extra hundred dollars. It's I think a hundred and forty five dollars for a two day pass where I paid eighty four and that's including my fucking service charge and all that. So if you're going to Decibel's Metal and Beer Fest, not the Decibel Tour, that's 2016's Decibel Tour. I also got my tickets for 2017 Decibel Tour with fucking Creator, Obituary, Midnight, and Horrendous. What a fucking lineup. And then the next week, I have Decibel Metal and Beer Fest. Like, I better have money for this shit, because 
there's so many bands playing that, you know, I really, really need to own music, like, because I, I don't have certain bands' records, and this is the easiest way to get them, and my favorite way. It's just buying them off the band. It's just something I've always liked doing, like, even what, even if it's just a sticker, if all I have is even 25 cents, and there's a pin for 25 cents, hey, that's 25 cents extra that band can spend on gas money. Like, whatever you can give a touring band, do it. Like, those guys, like, especially if it's like, you know, a band that, you know, smokes weed or something, okay? Just go up to their merch guy and say, hey, you guys need any bud? And then, see, it. some bands will do trades. For real. <laughs> Trust me. Like, some bands will do trades. You know, like, hey, like, I'll give you guys a... Uh, you guys want, like, a gram for uh, a t-shirt? Yeah. Like, because it, it makes sense. You're actually, you know, coming out losing five bucks, pretty much, like, because it's 20 bucks a G up here, so I don't know, but you can get it for 10, you just gotta know where to look, but anyways, that's off topic, but most bands, though, you know, they will do trades with you, you just gotta be cool, like, don't be a fucking narc. Don't come off like a narc, like, or if a band's like straight edge, or you might, you know, think they're straight edge, even if you just have a little time, like, don't go up to Todd Jones. Again, I don't, I don't know if Todd Jones from Nails is straight edge, but based on the lyrics Parasite, he either knows a lot of drug addicts or whatever, I'm not saying you you're a drug addict if you smoke weed or anything like that. You're not. You're just doing your thing. But I'm not sure if Todd would smoke a blunt with you. I think he probably would take it as, you know, that's if he doesn't smoke. I think he would probably punch you in the face because you will never be one of them. <laughs> no, I don't know. I love Todd Jones. I love Nails. I'm sorry, like, even with the hiatus, I know I was pissed, but hey, I got to see them, and we have this tour in March with fucking Gate Creeper, Toxic Holocaust, 10 years, man, I've been waiting to see Toxic Holocaust again. I fucked up, it sold out last time they played, and they rarely tour anymore, like, I don't know what Joel's doing, like... But anyways, we're running low on time. If you can find a copy, Pig Destroyer, Painter of Dead Girls is an awesome, awesome compilation. And you, I know you can download it, but uh, also be sure to check out their other compilation, 38 Counts Battery on Relapse Records. And again, we were listening to Cannibal Corpse. Tomb of the Mutilated on Metal Boy Records. This is the reissue, obviously. Look at the logo. That's how you can tell. It, just look at, look for the, the logo. The old Cannibal Corpse logo was so fucking cool. I mean, I still like the new logo, but the old one was fucking just, you know, it was way more brutal, I think. But let's just look at Chris Barnes. Yeah. So, thanks for watching. Um, I know I didn't really, you know, get too far down the rabbit hole of Pig Destroyer and go into their discography and why I really love this band so much, but you really, really, really need to hear this album and just give it your own, um, well, this compilation. And just give it your, uh, listen to it with open ears and grind your fucking head in. Thanks for watching. Fuck you if you're gonna leave some troll ass comments. Cheers.